What's up you guys? It's me Kenneth. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Okay, I know, I know it took me again a while to post another video because you all guys know we had an extreme typhoon this past few weeks. I mean twice this past weeks and we had an electricity cut out. Lots of people are actually losing their homes and their family members so that's why I didn't post in this video that early. So yeah, I hope you guys are all safe right now and if you are, let's do help out our fellow countrymen who aren't. I will be listing down some donation drives that I know and if you're Filipino, feel free to share more in the comment section and I'll try to pin it up. So anyways, for today's video, as you guys can see on the title and on the thumbnail, Today, I'm gonna be teaching you how to edit a static website login intro. I did this video because I thought you guys liked my previous intro tutorials which is these four thumbnails popping into your screen right now. Links will also be listed down below so you can basically watch it after you finish watching this video. So yeah, expect me to do more aesthetic intro tutorial in the future because I want you guys to have a lot of options because I know some of you are like planning to do a video channel in the future. Maybe some of you guys are like a small creator like me so yeah i hope this video could help you so we don't know further ado let's hop right in into the video enjoy
Hi guys! Um, today is November 22 and it's been roughly 3 days ago since I shooted the first part of this video. Actually, I'm about to upload na this video but I just noticed that the audio of this part where I am explaining right now have been broken. So I literally have no choice just to refilm this part. But anyways, I'll still try to explain to you guys how this part will work. So yeah, since y'all guys already gathered all the elements and stuff that we've needed for this intro, all we need to do now is of course to patch those things up. For this method, I'm going to use Filmora 10. And yes, this video is sponsored by Filmora. A word from today's sponsor. Since you're only using your mobile phones and editing your videos, don't you worry because you could still follow these steps that I'll be mentioning in editing this intro because it's basically fundamental naman in any video editors that either use your mobile phones or your desktop. It doesn't really matter at all. As long as your video editor has the basic crop and cutting tool and you're basically on the go, you can watch my previous video right here in this card popping to your screen right now for those amazing mobile video editing app suggestions that I personally used before. Anyways, I also wanna say that Filmora is one of the best video editing app that I can recommend to you guys. No cop, because I already tested and tried it before. If I'm not mistaken, half of my old videos are actually made with Filmora. And I actually start editing aesthetic contents using this software because it's really easy to use. All you need to do is to drag and drop such elements and basically your on the go is very similar to those mobile video editors that you guys might be using. You can actually be a professional video editor without even learning a bunch of long videos tutorials on YouTube. Also, with Filmora 10, they also now have the keyframing tool which is like my casual drive whenever I edit my videos. They also now have the auto docking tool, easy color matching feature, custom keyboard shortcuts which is also really helpful. And lastly, they also now have the easy motion tracking tool. I know it's really mind-blowing because we often see this kind of feature to those professionally made video editors are more advanced video editing softwares but the thing with the other video editing software is they actually offer this feature with additional payment which is like a hassle so yeah i highly recommend film martin especially if you guys are like starting to learn video editing tricks and stuff i will be linking the software both on the description box and in the comment section down below so you guys can basically try it if you guys are interested. Again, thank you so much Wondershare Filmora for sponsoring this video. So we can now proceed or continue into our tutorial.
that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed and find this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up. Click the notification bell beside so you'll be notified whenever I release my new video or tutorials. I am open for any video suggestions and recommendations. Just let me know in the comment section down below. I'll try to read all of them. If you guys haven't followed me yet on my social media accounts, please make sure to do so because I'll do also post a lot of fun and aesthetic contents out there, especially in Instagram and TikTok. Links will be listed down below if you guys are interested. Again, thank you, thank you for watching and staying up until the end of this long video. Always remember, stay motivated and hope to see you on my next video. Stay safe everyone and bye-bye.